What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Turn the aircon off. Um, so today I'm going to be trying to lower the Lexus. Double chin there for God's sake. Um, another bit. Um, basically so I threw in the data systems AFC something um, controller basically that lets you override the standard air suspension that's in it. Um, I'll show you that because I'm, I don't know if I showed you this before, but it's literally like three plugs and I plugged it in. Um, I've measured the car, it's sitting at 60 centimeters on the rear wheels to the top of the arch and at the front 61 and a half. Um, essentially what I want to do is I've got some, on, on the car from standard there is height level sensors just like there will be with 3H. Um, also I think Acura had height sensors as well for like their air system. Um, what we're going to do is essentially just try and make shorter lowering like height lengths so like lowering lengths essentially so i've got some m6 bars some rose joints and um, bolts nuts washers and we're going to try and make slightly shorter ones so we can get maybe like an extra half an inch of drop so this is the controller that i was talking about so basically it's sitting at drive height now which is nine um two different screens you can go through um only thing is, is it won't let me basically it's cutting off whenever you go over five kilometers an hour because it's in japanese and um, so it'll automatically rise up from like a, the lowest height to nine which is like drive height so i don't know if there's a way to unplug the speed sensor specifically to the controller so it doesn't read the speed and um, maybe it may, i don't know i know that with the newer version you unplug the blue plug and that's it but this version don't know because it's previous lift blue plugs on previous lift so going to get it up on the left here now well kind of already sitting on the left and we'll see if we can get the old links off because more likely I mean, they've been on the car from 2003, so probably gonna be rusted. Um, that's why I knew that I wasn't gonna be able to make them any shorter. First thing I'm gonna do is press pocket rocket over everything. Try and get the old ones loosened up. For the rear, it was actually easiest to take off the part of the linkage here and then take the two bolts off in the bracket and unbolt it, simply because the top of the linkage just doesn't come off at all. So go to this side, I'm going to do the same. As you can see, that they're probably going to be cut off too. And top one, I'll probably just take off these two bolts as well because I actually need this bit off. Um, yeah, so just try to loosen this one off. And you can kind of see. It's just ringing, so I'm going to cut this one off too. Back ones, basically, we just put a bit of thread of bar in um, and put the two links as short as we could um, because it's only really taking an inch off it. Done the same with this one and buttoned it back up. You can see it's done those fine. Um, kind of cut the back boxes off as well, they're sitting there. Um, just until we get the exhaust on just wanted to see if we can get a slightly bit more noise out of it not really much because the back box is like literally had a hole in them and um, so moving on to the front then front one i have literally undone this bolt it was like pretty see so it's quite awkward to get that off and finally got the front sensor out just with the clip it was like ridiculous and tight it was just like dirt stuck in it couldn't get it out um as you can see from this side this one here was threaded it was dead on this one, I don't actually know what kind of way this is it, because I can't even see in behind if there's, there's no real socket on the back. It just looks like it's tapped into it or, sorry, like a weld or something, I don't know. So I'm going to try here and see if I, can, if I can get it off with maybe vice grips or something. If not, we'll just cut it off and then we'll drill it out. This is ground off both sides of it after I cut it off and just popped out. A wee bit too much probably shaved off it, but that'll be fine. So all we need to do now is get a bit of threaded bar. Um, and we're gonna make lengths roughly an inch shorter than what's here. Because um, that's what we've done for the rear. The rear has like a slight bit of adjustment, but the front doesn't have any. Basically, 
Over onto the rear was just a wee small bit of threaded bar and just made the two lengths as tight as they can get. Um, this one, a big bit of threaded bar here. Uh, we'll grab a sharpie. What we're gonna do, we've got these new rose joints that we use for the rear as well. One. Two. So, this is the end of the joint, it'll go right to the end of the joint. So grab the old tight sensor or wherever I have to put it. Here. Go here. Line that up. Line that up, that's basically the same as the old one. Like the whole points anyway. And um, then we're just gonna take about an inch and move in. So it'll actually be an inch from here that we're gonna move it in. Because that's our cup point and that's gonna sit like fully into the rose joint. So grab a tape measure and then we'll move it in an inch and then We'll actually cut another one identical as well. So because we'll cut them, just if you can see, ends of the threads just aren't completely tidy. Same with this one. So it went got tap, tap and die set. That's our two links, so if you can see there, there's literally, roughly, an inch in it. Now, probably gonna have to put a slight angle on these, because this one sits, yeah, basically like a 45 degree right angle on it, so. We'll put a 45 on both these here, just a slight turn, and then we'll build the first one back up, put this one in, and then move on to the far side. As you can see, we've got the height sensor back on, the linkage is on there, and then we're just going to put the same bolt through this bottom bit the way we did it with the top one. And then that'll be this side done. Two rears are done. Just have to do the far side and then we'll drop to the ground. Literally just finished up putting the rest in. So you can see shiny bits, the only shiny bits underneath the car. One there and then we've got the two rears. So I'm going to drop the left. I'll put the camera up and watch it because I can't pull two levers at once. But anyway, the car's probably going to go straight to the floor because it did start it while like, uh, it was on the left. So the height sensors have probably detected that it's like, sit, I'm trying to read a message. The height sensors have probably detected that it's like too high or whatever the way it works. And then it like errs out completely. Um, I think that's how it works. It's done it a couple of times before on the left floor. So it goes straight to the ground. It's not actually the way it's going to sit, unfortunately. Saying, like I knew that probably it would drop completely, so I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes, let it like sort of level itself out. Like you look at the other side, back sitting like be nice, I'm sitting at that all the time. We'll soon find out. Give it a couple of minutes anyway, let it level itself out, see what way it's sitting, and then go from there. That is it completely down at the minute. Um, that's it on the lowest setting it can go. Do have an issue though. I would like the front a wee bit lower, which I mean, it was just kind of to look at the clearance and see if, if it's an issue with like it's actually hitting something. Um, but this back left bag doesn't seem to be reading right, so I might need to adjust the sensor or I might not plug it in right. So, I'm gonna try to put it up maybe to like a right height. So, usually we're going a nine, but I mean, we could go for let's change this. One. That's it finished up for the night. Um, it does sit a bit lower. I um, measured it sitting about half an inch lower um, than to begin with. Basically, hopefully we'll look bit better. I'm gonna get like 19 inch wheels or something on it. Um, I was more worried, not really, about how low it was sitting like completely to the ground. It was more like my driving height, which has that kind of affected a good bit. But next video, a body kit that we're going to be putting on so um we need to do a bit of work to this body kit before we can actually give it to paint and um, i'll explain it all in the next video but anyway guys make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can be notified for next video and um, hopefully we're, we're sticking the schedule of one a week every every sunday and around six o'clock or so um yeah comment like subscribe 